Hi guys, a few projects back I tried modifying this dynamo torch to power a small car. Um, modified it by putting this uh, ratchet effect on the outside. It didn't work, or at least didn't work very well. So I'm going to have another go. I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to see if I can just use that cog in there and the lever arm and the spring in a different way. So I will do it and then show you what I've done. Right, still going to use the lever arm, still going to use this gear, only need that part of it. And I'm going to try and mount that gear directly on the axle. And just out of interest, I'm not sure how many turns it does. Let's have a look. Looks like not even one full turn. Yeah, we've got about three quarters of a turn and that's all that's going to be powered. We'll see if it works. Right, that's going to be a good tight fit on a barbecue skewer. And then we need to drill these holes out so they're a uh, loose fit. That's just pushed it back together. And you should be able to see the gear is turning. The only problem is it stops at that point. It doesn't freewheel. So what I'm going to have to do is allow this lever to flick right up. So that means removing the little catch that's in there. It's just this little piece of plastic here that I'll trim off. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of power from this. So I'm going to make a very lightweight chassis. So just a couple of barbecue skewers and a drinking straw for the front axle. Then I'll hot glue the barbecue skewers straight onto the um, torch, as it was, <laughs> at the back. And that'll be it. And a couple of barbecue skewers just hot glued on there. Glue's still hot at the moment. And out to a drinking straw for the front axle tube. So I'll let that cool down. Test run time. I really don't expect a lot out of this, so I'm just testing it on the old 3 meter course rather than the full length of the kitchen. 
And I've given myself a little spike here that I can release the motor. If I can wind it up to begin with. There we go. If I just poke that spike in the back. Okay, so we're on the starting line. If I just have my finger there, I should be able to pull that peg out. And we did the three meters. That's the one meter, or that's the starting line. That's the one meter mark. That's the two meter mark, that's the three meter mark, and there we are. So we did achieve three meters. I think I'd be lucky if I managed to get it five meters, so I'm not even going to try. But we did three meters, so I better do a summary. And what we have here, if I put the camera back down, is one of those dynamo torches or at least that's the mechanism from it and I've just modified it so it drives the back wheels which are CDs front wheels are also CDs the chassis has just a couple of barbecue skewers the axles are barbecue skewers got a drinking straw at the front for the front axle tube and at the back all we've got is the casing for this dynamo torch. I'll put a link to the video or the project where I tried to use this before and I don't think I got and I don't think I got very much distance out of it then I can't remember to be honest but it wasn't very successful. So, three meters. And that's literally just three quarters of a turn that's actually powered. So, job done.